The goal for crew ejection, or egress, is six-tenths of a second, three-tenths of a second to reposition the pilot and jettison the canopy, and three-tenths of a second to eject. Since current fighter aircraft have canopies that must be jettisoned before the pilot can safely eject, fatalities have occurred when this short time limit was exceeded. At times, crew members have ejected safely, but have been struck by uncontrolled canopies. The technique embeds explosive cords into parallel grooves that have been cut into the outer surface of the canopy material over the crew member. The cords are exploded simultaneously. Propagating quickly at 5 miles per second, they produce shock waves that progress toward the center line between the cords and the lower surface of the material. As these intersecting incident and reflected waves pass each other at the center line in the material, they cause the material to literally pull apart. When the pilot decides to egress, he pulls an emergency egress handle. The explosion begins the process, but there is no debris or sound entering the cockpit to harm the crew. The layout of the explosive cords is designed to fracture the canopy in a French door pattern. Upon being struck by the headrest of the ejecting seat, the canopy splits on the center line to create the two panels. The panels remain intact and still attach to the canopy sills at hinged points. The hinges are achieved by controlling the amount of fracture at those sites. Within the six-tenths of a second goal, the pilot has escaped safely from the distressed plane.